Welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-73 from RC Hibeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the shaft S exerts three force components on the die D. Find the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force. Force F to X within the octant shown. So to solve this problem, first of all, we have to express all the forces in the Cartesian vector form so for F1 force F1 force has only one component along the positive x axis so F1 is equals to 400 I for the force F2 for the force F2 we have been given the coordinate direction angles so we have alpha 2 which is equals to 60 degrees we have gamma 2 which is equals to 60 degrees but beta 2 is missing for that we have to use this relation we have cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to 1 so upon putting all these values then we would have two values for beta beta could be 45 degrees or beta could be 135 degrees now from the given figure the beta is clearly less than 90 degrees this angle right here which is less than 90 degrees so beta is 45 degrees this is the correct choice according to this figure so we can write F2 as the magnitude is 300, 300 cos alpha which is 60 degrees I plus 300 cos beta which is 45 degrees into J plus 300 cos 60K f2 can also be written as f2 is equals to 150i plus 212.1j plus 150k now for the force f3 f3 is is on the plane of z axis and y axis it has no component in the x axis so for f3 we have 0i minus because it is directed in the negative y axis we have 200 4 over 5 j plus 200 3 upon 5 k this 3 upon 5 so from here f3 is equals to 0 i minus 160 j plus 120 k now to find the resultant we have to add all these three forces so for fr we have to add f1 plus f2 plus F3 so FR is equals to F1 which is 400i this value plus F2 which is 150i plus 212.1j plus 150k then we have to add F3 force which is 0i minus 160j plus 120k so from here FR can be written as 550i plus 52.1j plus 270k
Now for the magnitude of FR force, we have to take the square of all three components and then we have to use the square root. 50 square plus 52.1 square plus 270 square. So from here FR is equal to 6.5 newtons. Now we have found the magnitude. Now for the next part of the problem, we have to find the coordinate direction angles of the resultant force, which means alpha, beta and gamma. So for that, for coordinate direction angle, we have cos alpha is equals to magnitude of fri upon fr so which is equals to 550 divided by 615 so from here alpha is equals to cos inverse 550 upon 615 which is equals to 26.58 degrees for cos beta is equals to frj over fr equals to 552.1 upon 615 which is equals to beta is equals to cos inverse 52.1 upon 615 equals to 85.14 degrees so for cos gamma which is equals to frk over fr which is 270 upon 615 so gamma is equals to cos inverse 270 upon 615 equals to 63 point 96 degrees so we have alpha equals to 26.58 degrees beta is equals to 85.14 degrees and gamma is equals to 63.96 degrees these are the coordinate direction angles for the resultant force so this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible.